Hi everybody, today we're going to look at a little home financing and we're specifically looking at the principal and interest payments for the loan. So we're going to start by just finding a house that we like, grabbing a picture and the URL where we found it. So I'm going to use this house in Fort Wayne that costs $460,000 and you can see where I got it on Zillow. We're going to assume that we pay the asking price for this house so we're not going to negotiate, we're just going full price. So now that we know how much we're paying for the house, we're going to look at how much of a down payment we're going to make. So we're going to use a 20% down payment. So we need to multiply 0 0.2 times $460,000, which is $92,000. Not sure where we're getting that money, but that's where we need to start. Once we know what we're going to put down, we can figure out how much we need to finance. So the amount financed will be the price of the house minus the down payment. So we take our $460,000, we subtract the $92,000, and it says we're gonna finance $368,000. This $368,000 then is our loan amount. To find the monthly payment, we are not going to do this by hand. We are going to use this financial calculator. You can see the URL right here. I'll also put it in the description. We're gonna find the monthly principal and interest payment for a 30-year loan at 6.35% interest. We are not going to worry about taxes, insurance, or homeowners association fees. We're just looking at the loan amount right now. So when you get over to the TVM calculator, TVM stands for time value money, I wanna walk you through what each component stands for. So the present value is the loan amount. The payments we're gonna figure out, so we'll come back to that. The future value is what's it going to be worth in the future, and what we want the loan to be worth in the future is zero. We would like to pay it off, so you're going to put in zero for the future value. We're looking at the future value of the loan, not the future value of the house. The annual rate means what's your interest payment. So we have 6.35%, and we're going to put it in as 6.35. The periods means how many payments do you make all together? So all together, we're going to make 12 payments a year for 30 years, which is 360 payments in total. The compounding is monthly, leave that alone. And to get everything to work, we're going to push this button PMT, but let me show you that. So let's put in the values, 368,000, skip the payments, future value is zero, interest rate 6.35, don't put the percent, leave it alone, it knows it's a percent. Our total payments, 360, leave it on monthly, and up here at PMT, just push the button. This negative says you're making a payment of $2,289.83 a month for the life of the loan. Now that we know how much we pay per month, let's talk about how much do we really pay for the house. We're going to start by looking at the total paid, which is the monthly payment times the number of payments. So we pay $2,289.83 a month for 360 months, which is a total of $824,338.80. Then to find the interest paid for the loan, we take the total paid for the loan and we subtract the amount financed. So we paid $824,338.80, but we borrowed $368,000. That says we paid $456,338.80 in interest. So I hope you can use this example to try some home financing of yourself and figure out how much you pay per month for a house, how much you pay in total, and what the loan really costs.